was the rigging of the schooners by the key. He would watch them from his bedroom window, saw the big cranes a loading up the freight, and he used to dream of shipping as a sea cook and sailing for the Golden Gate. to buy the yellow penny dreadfuls and he read them where he fished for conger eels and he'd listen to the slapping of the water to the green and oily water round the keels there were trawlers with the shark mouth flat fish and the red nets a hanging out to dry and the skate the skipper kept because he liked them and the landsman never knew the fish to fry. And before he went to sleep in the evening, the last thing that he would see would be the sailor men dancing in the moonlight by the capstan that stands upon the key. with timber out of Norway just to ooze in with the syrups of the pines and there were rusty dusty schooners out of Sunderland and the ships of the Blue Cross Line and to tumble down a hatch into a cabin was better than the best of broken rules for the smell of them was like a Christmas dinner and the feel of them was like a box of tools. And before he went to sleep in the evening, the last thing that he would see would be the sailor men dancing in the moonlight by the capstan that stands upon the key. Now he's sitting on a high stool in London. The Golden Gate is very far away. Well, they caught him and they caged him like a squirrel and now he's toting up accounts and going gray and he'll never 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 get to frisco but the last thing that he may see will be the sailor men dancing in the sunrise by the capstan that stands upon the key to the tune of the old concertina by the capstan that stands upon the key. So, uh, in answer to a possible question, this is the old concertina, and this was made in 1887, and uh, still working pretty darn good for being over a hundred.